two week grocery haul plus meal plan. Let's do this. Hello, today I'm gonna to share our two week grocery haul and meal plan. I'm gonna start off by showing you our meal plan from last week. This is our menu for week one. We have the Cracker Barrel Chicken. It was so good, we've gotta have it again. You've gotta try it if you haven't tried it. It's really delicious. Crock-Pot Chicken and Dumplings, Spicy Chicken Sandwiches, Grilled Burgers, a rotisserie chicken to make it easy on mama, and barbecue grilled chicken. Don't worry, I have the videos with the recipes linked below. Now I'm gonna share our Walmart haul with you. So we got a green pepper, about five bananas, cantaloupe, I ordered two Stoke coffees, but they gave me four Stoke coffees, not complaining. Bag of potatoes, a little bag of carrots, a bag of salad, <laughs> an English cucumber, some turkey pepperoni, and some egg rolls, Canadian bacon, this stuff's kind of expensive, I think, some hot dogs, pizza sauce. I got three cans of sliced potatoes, and then a can of sliced black olives. Jumbo biscuits for weekend breakfasts. Jason loves biscuits and gravy, eggs and sausage, so that's on his menu. Light sour cream, non-fat Greek yogurt. Shake and bake, I like the extra crispy, but they didn't have that, they just had the original, so that'll be fine. Self-rising flour, suddenly salad, milk. You can hear Cooper eating in the background. <laughs> Some white plastic spoons, chips, hamburger buns, and the carb counter tortillas. We're gonna go around to the other side. Some dinosaur chicken nuggets. Honestly, Cooper loves these. Two bags of peas and carrots. One bag of just frozen peas. Some ding-dongs, my guys love these to snack on during the week. Apple juice. I have unsweet applesauce. They didn't have the one brand I usually get, so Great Value had their brand. Jif peanut butter. Some sugar-free chocolate pudding. Little bottle of Catalina dressing, Tocito salsa, my Kodiak pancake mix, some sugar free syrup, shout. I'm almost completely out of this and we can't have that. And then I have bacon strips with bacon and cheese flavor. And we have to go to Sam's Club. We didn't have to get too much at Sam's this time, but we did need chicken like always, huh? <laughs> so this is running $2.98. The pack was $20.17. And this pack of chicken was $21.58. Because I'm stuck on these Healthy Choice Fudge Bars, so thank you all of you that have been telling me about it. You guys are awesome. We got two of them. Justin and Tim are loving them as well. And of course, my honey roasted turkey breast and my black forest ham. Me and Jason just got back from Sam's Club, which if you haven't seen that video, I have it linked below. It is the What's New at Sam's. So I found some stuff, plus we needed to kind of replenish some of our items for our home. This is what I got. I got a long sleeve white t-shirt and a long sleeve gray t-shirt. This one actually feels a little bit thinner than this one, but they're both very soft and I'm looking forward to wearing these this fall. We needed some more bath tissue, which we love the Members Mark brand and also the Members Mark brand of the paper towel. And I like this Selecta size. I also needed some more Kleenex. It's just that time of year, you know, noses are running. We love the Ozarka bottled water. You get 28 20 ounce bottles in this pack. Paper plates, you get 600 plates in this pack. We are truly enjoying this Kinder's seasoning. It's a wood fired garlic. We put that on steak, we put it on potatoes, we put it on chicken, everything that it goes on. Oh man, does it bump up flavor. It is so good. It's got a little hint of smokiness to it. If you haven't tried it, you definitely should. It is, this is actually our second bottle. We got a pack of steaks. They're $4.48 a pound, making this pack $13.40. And we needed only one pack of chicken this time. It is running $2.98 a pound, which makes this pack $19.52. All right, see those three boxes of Kleenex right there? Jason thought that that's all we had with Kleenex. That's why we grabbed another thing, a pack of Kleenex. Going to the garage. <laughs> you know what's coming, right? Uh, yep. In our defense, one of those is the one we just bought. I didn't realize we had this. Right, now we're, we're, we're running noses. 
in tears and crying. That's gross. Don't be gross. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's where we keep our Kleenex. <laughs> and then when we open them, we put them in the laundry room on that shelf. So this is where we put the paper towels. We have a shelving system set up in our garage and we keep the paper towels here. And then we have paper plates here. And the toilet paper is up here on the shelf in the laundry room. And look, one of them's upside down. Jason can't handle it. No, oh. I don't care, but I know it's somebody me. else. Yeah, I know. I seriously love you even more for just turning that around. <laughs> You're awesome. I, I knew you would. Oh, a little bit of OCD here. <laughs> the napkins, we keep in a plastic bin up here. I think that bin is actually supposed to be for like, I don't know, pop cans, chip bags, something like that. But we just keep them up here. This is our pantry and they're up on the top shelf. Okay, so we are getting low on water bottles. So Jason, that was a good call on your part. <laughs> Thanks. You're Madonna. welcome, honey. <laughs> so we're gonna fill this up this side and then we're gonna put the rest down oh, here in yeah. the drawer. Yeah. And that is what it looks like all stocked up. <laughs> Um, these bottles are different from these ones. I actually really like these ones and Jason said that the bottom of that case had cardboard on the bottom of it so it wasn't so flimsy when he was picking it up and moving it around. So Ozarka, I think maybe they're stepping up their game. <laughs> That's good. All right, and then the rest of the water bottles we have in this drawer here. Oh, just one little lonely one because he didn't fit in with these. So we have water bottles here and we have tea here. For our meal plan this week, I have five crock pot freezer meals and that video is gonna be out for you on Monday, so be watching for it. Our sixth meal for the week, football is kicking off the week that I'm filming this, so I'm gonna make what we call football chicken. It's basically a teriyaki chicken, but man, is it good. I will have the recipe and the video to that down below. Our grocery pickup order is at seven o'clock and it is 6.43. Usually by now they will have sent me a message letting me know if I have any substitutions and they have not let me know. So I'm hoping that we don't have substitutions. Now the last couple of weeks I had gotten their message too late for me to cancel out substitutions, which can be a pain, but it saves me some steps and it's nice to be able to go and pick up groceries. Meanwhile, I have a chip bin that needs my attention. I'm gonna take this out of here, I'm gonna go through it, throw the stuff away that we are not using anymore and try to clear up a bunch of space that's in that chip bin. I have some questions that a couple of you had asked me. Figure I might as well do the bread bin while I'm at it too. How many siblings do you and Jason have and do they watch your YouTube channel? I have eight siblings and Jason has one sibling and his brother watches our YouTube channel, yes. And I have some of my siblings, yes, watch my YouTube channel. Sharon asks, how did you keep everything going for your home and family and still stay positive during Jason's recent health ordeal? Just to catch you up a little bit, about this time last year, we had all caught COVID and Jason ended up in the hospital. He ended up having pneumonia and he was in there for quite a while. I think it was just by sheer willpower is how I kept things going during that time. I cried a lot and I prayed even more. It also helped me get through everything knowing that all of you were lifting us up in prayer. Prayer works and Jason is a miracle. Jason just left to go get the order and apparently we had no substitutions. So that is the first in a few weeks. I'm so happy about that. But it only took me just a few minutes to clear out those bins and get it ready for the stuff that's coming into the house shortly. All hands on deck when it comes to carrying in groceries. I'm patiently waiting to grab one. Did you see that? He was like, too slow. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> but I ended up getting some so I could carry some in too. Oh, you locked. Do you remember that game? All right, so I have three green peppers, an onion. I end up getting a sweet onion, a red pepper, and a red onion a musk melon, some bananas, and a couple of sweet potatoes for a recipe. I found that the Great Value brand of the Extra Virgin Olive Oil Spray and the Canola Spray is much cheaper than the name brand. Needed some more minced garlic, a can of crushed pineapple, and a can of pineapple tidbits. Fat-free half and half, cheddar jack shredded cheese, Taco Bell seasoning, some green enchilada sauce, curry powder, 
sweet and sour sauce. This was the only one that it was shown online. It's by Kiko Man's. I hope it's good. And then Great Value Thick and Chunky Salsa. Their salsa is really good if you haven't tried it. Great Value's got a good tasting salsa. And then two cans of corn, three cans of black beans, some white rice, family size white cheddar Cheez-Its, Hershey syrup. I thought this bag was bigger. <laughs> but it's only a pound of meatballs, so I have to look at my recipe to make sure that that's all I need. If I need more, I'll have to go get more. But this is a Sam's Choice meatball. I'm trying to find a good one, and it's a premium Angus meatball, so hopefully this one's good. We needed some more dishwasher detergent, storage bags. Justin likes this Dove Men's Care Clean Comfort. This is a little junk corner going on over here. <laughs> we have Ding Dongs, Nutter Butters, and Chips Ahoy Reese's Cookies. Continuing on with snacks, these are Cooper's. He loves the beef flavor little steaks. And also, he really enjoys these. It's a carob and peanut butter flavors and a golden vanilla flavor cookies. He loves the vanilla flavors the most, but he truly enjoys these things. Ooh, looks like our drawer needs cleaned out. The cilantro. It is cilantro. <laughs> We're completely out of storage bags, gallon size. So it'll be nice to have those in here again. This Grove bucket is perfect to keep my dish detergent into. So I took out, I have six tablets left over. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put those on the top and then the new ones will be in the bottom. So then these ones can get used up first. You can put a ton of them in this thing and it fits perfectly under my sink. Whenever we get rice, I fill this up right away while well, me or my guys do. Fit perfectly. Here you go, honey. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. My sweet husband has taken the tour on of chopping up a cantaloupe for me and I greatly appreciate it. He's putting the seeds down into the garbage disposal and then that way our garbage doesn't smell too bad. <laughs> Most times when I go to cut fruit, Jason takes over because there has been many times where I slice through a fingernail. <laughs> yeah, I'm that girl. And there are times when I'll go, <gasps> And he's like, oh no, did you cut yourself when I check? And I'm like, nope, no blood, I'm good. <laughs> so that is why most times Jason takes over chopping things up. And I mean, seriously, when you're cutting cantaloupe, you cannot not snack on it, right? I mean, it is so good. Okay, the only thing we have left to do is Jason is gonna be cutting up that chicken and I think we have to cut up the steak too or don't we? I can't remember. But definitely the chicken. Other than that, everything else is done and we are ready for our week. Do you like grocery haul videos? Well, I have two more for you to watch right here. Just click. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon.